order, the House comes to questions for oral answer. Question number one, in the name of Andrew Little. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Prime Minister. Does he stand by his statement, quotes, what I can say about the Minister for Housing is that he is outstanding, end quotes. If so, what has been outstanding about his rollout of the government's new Auckland housing policy? The right Speaker. Honourable Prime Minister. Speaker, yes. Uh, the outstanding housing policies include signing housing accords with seven councils, including Auckland, to speed up housing development, freeing up more land for residential development through more than 80 special housing areas, providing a $200 million loan to the Tamaki Redevelopment Company in Auckland to develop around 7,500 new houses, introducing the new Home Start package to help around 90,000 first home buyers into houses over the next five years, developing land at the Hobsonville Point and in other areas such as the Weymouth funded through the Social Housing Fund, investing $446 million to insulate around 240,000 homes through the Warm Up New Zealand program, plus around another 46,000 through the Healthy Homes extension, and to ensure we maintain this momentum, the budget confirmed will consider freeing up more Crown-owned land in Auckland for housing. Mr Speaker, new house building has doubled in Auckland over the past three years, and investment in residential construction reached an all-time high of $2.6 billion in the year to March 2015. So the Minister is doing a good job and the previous Labour government did absolutely nothing order, for the affordable order, housing. Order, I'd describe it as order. outstanding. The Prime Minister will resume his seat. Right there. Next Supplementary. Question. Supplementary question, Andrew Little. Can he advise when the first house will be completed on newly released Crown land in Auckland? Uh, the right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr Speaker, I don't have those details, but what I know is by... October of this year, uh, the land will be identified in parts, and then from there on, the first house will be built by 2016. But, Mr Speaker, I find it really odd that the Labour Party don't think we can build a single house on Crown-owned land, and yet their policy they took into the last election was to build, theoretically, 100,000 of them. A point of order, Mr. Speaker. A point of order, Andrew Little. I seek leave to table a, um, a letter published in the NBR online with a comment attached to it from Nick Smith. Order. Out that order. The first order. 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 No, the member will resume his seat. That the the, the uh, material published online is behind a paywall, not widely available, uh, and therefore entirely appropriate. Order. For order. order. On the basis of the. The latter part of the argument advanced by the Leader of the Opposition. I will put the Leader of the House will decide. Leader sought to table that particular letter. Is there any objection? There is none. It can be tabled. Supplementary question, Andrew Little. <laughs> Supplementary, Mr. Speaker. <laughs> Supplementary. Yeah. Supplementary question, Andrew Little. What is outstanding about the fact his government has built just 170 homes on Auckland special housing areas since they were announced in 2013? especially given his claims in Parliament yesterday that the government had built 8,500 houses last year. Right, Honourable Prime well, Minister. Mr Speaker, one always has to be cautious with Labor's numbers, but what I will say about the special housing areas is that there are over 90 of them uh, in Auckland, Mr Speaker, and as everybody knows, for, from the establishment or designation of a special housing area, you have to go through a process, and that process is infrastructure and everything else. And the point was actually made by the Minister yesterday, that Labor identified Hobsonville in 2003 and didn't build a single house on it. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Andrew Little. Can he confirm that the Minister Nick Smith told Tainui yesterday that they do have first refusal rights over some Crown land in Auckland? And if so, how does he reconcile this with Nick Smith's impassioned denials that Iwi had any rights at all over the land? Uh, the Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, no, I wasn't part of those conversations. Oh. Supplementary. Oh, no. Order. Supplementary question, Andrew Little. Given that answer, does he now confirm that this is the situation? First, the policy was leaked. Second, some of the land was power uh, occupied by power substations and cemeteries. Third, it turned out that 500 hectares was just a guesstimate. Fourth, some of the land wasn't even crown owned and other parts of the land were just conceptual. Fifth, Nick Smith said he could sell land without giving Ewe first dibs. 
Sixth, it turns out the government has already given EB first dibs on some of the land. Seventh, Nick Smith has admitted he can't sell the land without giving EB first dibs, and the whole thing is going to wind up in court. And finally, he has admitted no houses will be built for at least 18 months. The right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr Speaker, no, and there were more points on his list than people who voted for him in the election of his leadership. That's supplementary. Supplementary. Order. 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 And a little supplementary question. Hey, Mr Speaker, when will the Prime Minister finally realise that the other outstanding failure here is his own failure to put in a Minister for Building and Housing who's actually up to the job? Yeah. Well, right, Honourable Prime Minister. Mr Speaker, I think at the start of the, the primary question I ran through the things that Nick Smith as Minister of Housing has done in his time as Minister of Housing. And what's a great privilege as Prime Minister is to be able to read out an extensive list that's actually making a difference for the people of Auckland. Because if Helen Clark was answering this question, that's exactly what the list would have looked like. They did absolutely nada, and that is why house prices doubled under Labour. As I said yesterday, raw order, that little order, lamb chop order. The question has been answered. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Andrew Little. Can he confirm that Nick Smith has been sent today to a remote part of Bay of Plenty Forest to avoid further embarrassment to the government? And if Nick Smith creates a fiasco in a forest and there's no one to hear it, is it still the media's fault? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr Speaker, no, I can confirm he's gone to the regions because National cares a lot about the regions. Question number two. The right Speaking about the regions. Mr Speaker, 